What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be unboxing and comparing all the outer box cases I have, the Commuter, the Symmetry, and the Defender Pro for the S22 Ultra. Let's check it out. What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. So you may have already seen the reviews for each of these cases. As I get to them, I'll put cards up in the corner here so you can check those out as well. What I'm gonna be doing is kind of quickly unbox them again comparing the cases and giving you my opinions on each of them so you can make an informed decision as to which one is best for you on your S22 Ultra. So we're gonna start with the one that I feel like is at the bottom of the tier as far as protection goes. Now I know these have the same drop rating, but this definitely has less material in it. So therefore I'm going to say this is the least protecting of these cases. The things I like about this case, one, it's very easy to put on. Two, it's also easy to take off. Three, it has a pretty decent drop rating. Four, it has um, antimicrobial protection built in, just like the rest of them do. And it's made from some re recyclable material. Now, I know all the auto boxes now are done this way, but I just kind of wanted to give them props for doing so and trying to help get rid of some waste. So let's take it out and put it on. So like I said, this thing is really easy to put on. Not a lot of messing around. It just slaps right on the phone and you're off and running. Plenty of room for a screen protector. It doesn't add a ton of bulk or size. It raises the phone up quite a bit off of a surface if you put it face down. It's got a extended lip there and on the bottom as well. Getting to the stylus is a little bit tricky, but it's not a big deal. Not super hard. Overall, I'd say for an entry level case that's not super expensive and offers a good amount of protection, you can't go wrong with the symmetry. Moving on to the next case, we have the commuter. Now, some of the key differences between the commuter and the symmetry are, one, this case is a little bit bulkier, two, it offers the same level of protection as the symmetry, but I do feel like this one probably takes it a step further because it is a two-part case with the soft inner and the hard exterior. And that's kind of why I feel like it is a step up in improvement over the symmetry. For me, it's logical that this soft interior is going to distribute any impacts that the case and the phone come up against evenly around the phone, giving your corners, your surfaces, and any other part of the phone a little bit better chance at surviving a fall. It goes on real easily. Just put the interior rubber around your exterior hard shell. and press it in. So some of the things I like about this case over the symmetry is just the form factor. It looks a little sleeker. It feels a little better in the hand. You have the very clicky buttons, but some of that might be attributed to the color. If I had to buy the symmetry again, I'd probably get it in black. So some definite advantages of this case over the symmetry, as far as I'm concerned, come directly from these little ex exposed rubber bits in the back. They, for me, keep the phone from coming out of my pocket as easily and make it grip nice when you put it down so it's not gonna slide around. I've actually put my phone down on solid surfaces only to have them slide off of that surface and fall to the ground. So having those on the back will keep your phone a little safer. It has a little bit more pronounced lip on the top and bottom of the case, which should help you keep your phone screen protected should you put it down on a flat surface. The bottom of the case is pretty straightforward with your lip, speaker grill, and cutout for your S Pen. Getting the pen out is just as easy, probably directly on par with the Symmetry case. Not too hard, a little bit of difficulty, but nothing you can't get used to. The next case, and probably the most iconic of the OtterBox line, is the Defender Series Pro. This thing is huge, it offers a ton of protection, and is the first one in my lineup here to have a higher drop test rating officially from Outer Box. And like I said, I do feel like the commuter has a higher protection than the symmetry, but that's not as per Outer Box, that's just my opinion. Now, the Defender Pro, like I said, steps it up from three to four, and has some other features that are cool as well. So right out of the gate, obviously, you do have one extra thing that comes with the Defender Series Pro case, is you get the belt clip. Now, I'm not going to get into that right away. I'm just going to go over the case and some of the differences. Now, stepping up from the commuter, this is takes that same approach of the two-part build and takes it a step further. As you can see, the inner hard portion of this case encompasses the entire phone and really does look after the edges a little bit better and the sides a little bit better than the commuter. The commuter had a frame, but it didn't go around the entire body of the phone. 
It even covers the front edges with the bezel that snaps apart here. So if you're looking for the maximum protection from this series of cases, the Symmetry, the Commuter, or the Defender Pro, the Defender Pro definitely takes it up a notch. Installing is very straightforward. Lay it in, take the grill, do all your clicky bits. And once that's all done, you do the same thing you did with the Symmetry, slap it in. And now there is a little bit of a lip that the plastic, the rubber outside has to lay into, so you do have to curl it around and put it in, but it's super easy to do. Having just installed the Symmetry, the Commuter, and now the Defender, it's very easy to see the progression of the amount of protection offered by each case. Obviously, this is much bulkier, but it does really offer that sort of total protection. If you're looking, if you're really hard on your phones or you're worried about dropping it or you drop your case, your phones often, this is the case for you. It feels good in the hand. Um, it obviously offers a ton of protection and is going to give your phone a fighting chance at surviving a significant drop. Taking out the S Pen is actually easier on this case than the other two cases. They have a very significant notch in the bottom allowing you to get access to it. And there's also the benefit of this holster. I always have a Defender Pro for any phone that I have. And I start out using the, the holsters, but they don't stick around for me for very long. I typically end up just pocketing it. But if you are in a scenario where you're running around outside, you're mowing lawns or whatever it might be, having quick access to your phone is made easier with this holster. And it does give you a few cool little features that you can do as well. So you can stand it up like that. You can, you can stand it up like that as well. And obviously, it affixes to your belt. I'm not gonna go into the dimensions of each of these cases in a ton of detail right here. I have the other reviews that do that, but I do feel like the weight of the phone is a very significant aspect when picking a case. So let's check it out. The phone itself, 228 grams. With the Symmetry case installed, you're looking at about 270 grams. Stepping up in protection, in my opinion, to the commuter, you're looking at 283 grams, so it jumps up in weight. The Defender Pro, without the holster, is roughly 309 grams. With the holster, you're looking at 374 grams. Now into the last portion of this video. Which case would I choose? If I had to have only one of the cases, based off my use cases and how often I'm going outside and in situations where I might drop my phone, I'm probably gonna go with the commuter. It offers a good amount of protection with the dual layer system here from with the plastic on the in, with the rubber on the inside and the plastic on the outside and it feels good in the hand it's not too big and it's pretty easy to install the commuter is probably for me if i had to pick two of these cases i'd probably go with the defender pro as my backup case and the commuter again as my primary every single day case the reason being is i do find myself in situations often where i'm potentially going to be dropping my phone, I'm working outside, going hiking or whatever it might be. And in that case, I might just switch over to the Defender Pro to give my phone a little bit more protection because I do have a high turnover rate in my phones. Pretty much every year I'm getting a new phone, if not more than once a year. Are you going to be dissatisfied with any of these cases? Probably not. They all offer very good protection. They're reasonably affordable compared to the price of the overall phone that you're protecting. And it comes from a trusted name, Otterbox. And for me, it doesn't get any better when you're thinking about protection, then out of box. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. I just really like their stuff. Thanks for checking out these products with me today. I really appreciate you hanging out. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If not, the thumbs down works as well. And as always, I appreciate the subscription. Peace.